Hey everyone, welcome to part 74 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in the previous video, we did implement evolutions, but it was just shown in the dialogue, right? So in this video, we'll create a UI where we can show the evolution happening. All right. Special thanks to all my Patreons for making this series possible. By becoming a Patreon, you can support me and get access to the complete project files of the series. The project files also contain some advanced features that are not covered on YouTube. So let's start the video. So first, let's create the UI for the evolution. So let me go into the UI canvas prefab and here I'll add a new image and I'll call it evolution UI. So next I'll change the anchors to stretch in both sides and I'll also hold alt so it also changes the size of the image. All right. So now the image is covering the entire screen. So next I'll change the image to the dialog box sprite okay so we have the background for the evolution ui so next we'll add an image where we'll show the pokemon that is evolving so under the evolution ui i'll add a new image and i'll call this one pokemon image all right so i'll change its size to 200 by 200 and let me just put some Pokemon over here so that we can get some reference okay I'll just put this Charizard let me just place it towards the center all right so we want the evolution UI to be above the dialog box so that the dialog box appears on top in the UI so let's enable the dialog box and see how the UI looks. All right, so that looks okay to me. So next, I'll write the script for managing evolutions. So inside the gameplay folder, I'll create a new C# script called evolution manager. So let me open the script in Visual Studio and I'll clear all the default code so in the previous video we were handling the evolution from the pokemon party script itself we were just showing a dialogue saying the pokemon evolved but now since we have the evolution ui there will be a lot more code so we'll move everything into the evolution manager script okay so in this script first we need a reference to the evolution UI so let me create a variable for that okay so next we need a reference to the Pokemon image in the evolution UI so let me also create a variable for that okay so in order to use image we have to import unity engine dot UI namespace all right so next i'll create a function to handle all the evolution code so this function will be a coroutine and i'll call this evolve and it'll take the pokemon that we want to evolve and a reference to the evolution in the parameters okay so in this function first we want to enable the evolution ui so i'll say evolution ui dot set active true so next we want to set the sprite of this pokemon in the pokemon image so i'll say pokemon image dot sprite equal to pokemon dot base dot front sprite all right 
so this will set the sprite of the pokemon image so next i want to show a dialog saying the pokemon is evolving all right so i'll call the show dialog text function and for the dialog i'll just say the pokemon is evolving okay so next we should actually make the pokemon evolve so for that we can call pokemon dot evolve function and we can pass the reference of evolution so this will make it evolve and after calling this function this pokemon will be the evolved pokemon right so after making it evolve we should show the sprite of the evolved pokemon so i'll just copy this line and paste it over here the line of code is just the same but in this case pokemon.base will be the evolved pokemon right so for example if the pokemon was charmander by default here we'll set the pokemon image to charmander and once it evolves this pokemon object will be a charmeleon and we'll set the pokemon image to the image of charmeleon okay so after changing the image i want to show another dialog saying the pokemon evolved into the new pokemon so how do we get the name of the old pokemon this will give us the name of the evolved pokemon right so we don't have the name of the old pokemon anymore so what we can do is we can store the reference of the old pokemon in a variable before we call the evolve function okay so i'll just say old pokemon equal to pokemon dot base so now we have a reference to the old pokemon and to get the old pokemon's name we can simply call old pokemon dot name all right and i'll just say the old pokemon evolved into the new one so to get the name of the new pokemon we can simply call pokemon dot base dot name all right so that will show that dialog so once all this is complete we can just deactivate the evolution ui and we can continue the gameplay all right so at the end i'll call evolution dot set active false okay so now from the check for evolutions function if there is an evolution then we should call the evolve function inside the evolution manager right but how can we get access to the evolution manager from here so you can use find game by object if you want but since we'll have to use the evolution manager from multiple places i'll actually make this a singleton so let me create a static instance for it all right i'll just name the instance as i and then i'll initialize it in the awake function okay so now from here we can simply call evolution manager dot i dot evolve and we need to pass the pokemon and the reference to the evolution all right and since this is a coroutine i'll add a yield return at the start all right so this will handle the evolution for us but there is one more thing that we have to do in the game controller when the evolution is happening we should change the game state to a new state called evolution if we don't do this then the player will be able to move in the scene when the evolution is happening right 
so how can we set the state to evolution when the evolution is happening so for that what I'll do is I'll create events inside the evolution manager and I'll use these events to notify the game controller when an evolution starts or ends all right so we need to create two events the first one will be fired when the evolution starts so I'll call this one on start evolution okay and by the way in order to use action we have to import the system namespace so let me do that all right so next I'll just duplicate this and create another event called on complete evolution okay so now we can invoke the on start event at the start of the evolve function and we can invoke the on complete event at the end of the evolve function okay so now let's go to the game controller script and let's listen to these events all right so in the start function first I'll listen to the evolution start event so I'll say evolution manager dot I dot on start evolution and what should we do when this event is fired we should change the state to evolution right so when this event is fired I'll simply call a lambda and in this lambda I'll just set the state of the game to game state dot evolution okay so similarly we can also subscribe to the on complete evolution event and when this is fired we can set the state back to free roam so that the player can continue the gameplay all right so that's all we need to do so let's go to unity and test this so first of all let me disable the evolution ui and dialog box by default we don't want this to be enabled by default and then i'll go inside the essential objects prefab and i'll add the evolution manager script to our game controller all right and here we need to assign the evolution ui and pokemon image so let me do that all right let me also assign the pokemon image okay so now let's try testing the game all right so let me go ahead and start a battle real quick and let me beat this Bulbasaur so that we can evolve all right so yeah you can see once the battle ends we are going into the evolution screen so it shows the Charmander is evolving and if I press Z it will evolve into a Charmeleon okay so now once the evolution is complete we'll go back to the free roam state and now our Charmander should be evolved into a Charmeleon so we can actually test that by starting another battle all right so you can see the evolution is working correctly so I'll stop the video here if you think this video is helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel that will really help me out so I'll see you in the next video